Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing quite well. Today, in this tutorial video on writing PhD thesis using LaTeX, I shall show you how to include chapters of your thesis using LaTeX. And this is that acknowledgement section, abstract is there. By the way, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel so far, then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Here's the contents and chapters. This is the second chapter. Now I shall show you how to include chapters in your thesis using LaTeX. So I am using some basic pa packages. So you can use that also. Nothing special here. Now notice that you can add chapter in two different ways. First, as I have added the acknowledgement section and abstract section. So chapter, I don't need the chapter number here. So I have put one star there. So you can write the acknowledgement stops and the abstract of your thesis here. However, whenever you are working on the main chapters then it is not suitable to write in this LaTeX page here. So as you can see I have <coughs> written one chapter that is introduction using Lipsum Lipsum but in real case you cannot use Lipsum. You have to write your own things, your own stuff. So I don't think that this method will work there. So I am deleting this. Another way you can do, you can prepare chapters differently and add the chapters using this command. For that, you can make one profile like for chapter one. Now make, let's make another folder for chapter two. Let's give it a name chapter 2. Fine. Now go to the main menu, main page. <coughs> Click new. And here you can write uh, chapter. Now let's uh, give the name of the chapter. What should be your name? Let me give the num name of the chapter as Hetero Junction. Now let's add some chapter mark. Suppose your chapter name is too long, is huge, then you can use a short form that will represent your chapter properly but with some minimum words in that in my case heterojunction is not a big word or not a big sentence so i can write it here okay so you can write your short chapter name here and the real or big chapter name you should write here. Now you can make section there, section name of the section. So, so you can keep the name, a section name. Now let me copy the things from this
here it is actually from my thesis so let me copy these things and write it here Okay, fine. Now, uh, you can incorporate some figures there if you want. figure name suppose uh, I have kept my figures in this folder so let's add this figure trees Save it. Here should be saved. Now it should be written as Hitaro Junction. I am giving the name here, and this name I shall mention in that main LaTeX page. Save it. Now I shall include chapter 2. So include chapter 2 is the folder name where I have kept the chapter and the file name by which I have saved that chapter 2 is hetero junction. So I am writing it here and saving it and going for compilation. So you can see, let's check the thesis, here's the thesis acknowledgement abstract and contents. So you can see I have now two chapters and I have included the chapters in the similar fashion. So here is the second chapter that is hetero junction, let's click on it. This is the chapter, hetero junction is the title and what is a hetero junction the section name and here are the references you can see and this is section 2 and chapter number 2 that's why 2.2 types of hetero junctions and let's compile it again Yeah, now the figure has come. You can change the 
orientation of the figure so you can use centering sorry I have mistakenly compiled this chapter never compile the chapters instead compile this main page so quick build yes you should not compile the chapters you know rather you should compile this where you can find all the stops Yeah, center which is the figure and here's the bibliography so the basic thing is how you can add chapters I will recommend that you write the chapters separately and then you include the chapters in the main file you are preparing that will be much more easier and it will help you in managing your thesis properly so here you can see the chapter it is the inclusion of chapters then section i have written i have added figures many sections subsections sub subsection you can do and then I have included the chapters and this is chapter 1 and chapter 2 and I have kept them in the folders chapter 1 chapter 2 etc so if you have chapter 3 then make one folder with name chapter 3 and save your chapter 3 there So you can see that inclusion of chapters is the first chapter and it is also saying that whether you have subscribed my youtube channel or not if you haven't subscribed the channel so far please do subscribe so i think you have understood how to include chapters separately in your thesis using latex Thanks for watching.